to the mouse bites for April 9th, 2018. First things first, we are going to start with some brand new entertainment that has been announced for Pandora, the world of Avatar. So guests visiting uh, Pandora will soon be able to interact with a new entertainment offering starting on April 22nd. They will encounter a pilot wearing a Pandora Conservation Initiative utility suit. Uh, this individual will be walking among uh, the moon's floating mountains, uh, waterfalls, and native flora to study the wildlife and collect plant samples and survey Pandora's terrain, as well as to interact with guests. So guests will soon be able to have fun interacting with this brand new um, structure, I guess I should say, if you've seen the photos online uh, here relatively soon. And April 22nd, for those who don't know, is actually uh, Disney's Animal Kingdom's anniversary. So they're celebrating 20 years. So this is an exciting new uh, entertainment offering to sell help celebrate 20 years of Animal Kingdom. So that's exciting, right? Moving on uh, at Epcot, uh, HMP's World Showcase Adventure. For those of you who have enjoyed this interactive game, you'll have a new way to be able to participate. Um, before, guests be, could be able to participate with uh, via the My Disney Experience app. Um, and now it will actually prompt you when you are visiting uh, select locations around World Showcase it, to see if you actually want to play the game. Guests will receive the message prompt at the following locations, uh, the Future World Bridge, International Gateway and the Mexico Bridge. So if you would like to participate in the uh, the, the fun Agent P's World Showcase adventure, you are more than welcome to do so in a very easy way. Disney's making it super easy and reminding you that Agent P's World Showcase adventure actually exists. This is a fun game for all ages, not just kids, but if you have kids, it's a great way to get them involved in World Showcase. But it's also fun uh, for adults too. So um, it's a really great activity for the whole family to do. Um, Moving on, some sad news at Disney's Hollywood Studios. The store Sweet Spells, which is found on Sunset Boulevard, will be undergoing a refurbishment beginning April 16th at Disney's Hollywood Studios. During this time, the nearby Real Vogue will remain open. However, uh, guests on Sunset Boulevard who are looking for snacks uh, should visit once upon a time. When the location officially reopens, um, it will actually be known just as Beverly Sunset, and it will feature um, an expansion of current Pixar merchandise, as well as some prepackaged treats. Uh, this location will eventually be the exclusive location for Toy Story Land merchandise. Favorite snacks from Sweet Spells will uh, now be found at various Disney's Hollywood Studios merchandise shops and other quick service locations. So um, if you're looking for one stop shop to get your uh, snacks, you're unfortunately going to have to go to a few other places in order to do so. Big news this week, Walt Disney World is introducing what is known as a digital key. Uh, the Walt Disney World Resort is always looking for ways to wow guests with brand new technology that enhances their experience. Um, a new feature uh, called for in the My Disney Experience app will soon allow guests to quickly unlock their hotel room using a digital key that will be found on their mobile device. It will provide guests with a Another seamless room entry opportunity in addition to Magic Bands. Uh, guests will also be able to use their digital key to unlock the hotel entrance gate, as well as common area doors which require a key, like pools, fitness centers, elevators, and club level lounges. Um, as I said, Magic Bands will still work to open uh, doors, so you don't have to worry about that. You'll still be able to use Magic Bands if you'd like to do so. Um, and to use the digital key, I guess will be able to opt in and uh, activate the feature on their check-in day through a brief setup process in the app. Then to enter the room, guests will tap the unlock door button and then simply hold their phone against the door lock. You must have a Bluetooth enabled mobile device with the latest version of the My Disney Experience app uh, is required to take advantage of the new digital room key. So just keep that in mind. You'll have to download the newest version of the app in order to use this. Moving on, something that is super popular are the dessert parties and there are changes for two of them. The fireworks, uh, the fairy tale fireworks, a sparkling dessert cruise has been upgraded. Uh, it will feature a brand new decor aboard the ferry boat, including an ultraviolet sca scavenger hunt for younger guests, as well as a strolling magician who will welcome guests on the ferry boat. The menu, will the menu will feature a new selection of specialty beverages, such as delicious cheesecake bites, cherry pie tarts, and a warm s'mores brownie skillet. Hello, that's where I'm at right there. There's also going to be two new highlighted beverages, including the fireworks fizz and the grand finale. Uh, they will join the other beverages, including beers, wine, and soft drinks, which are already available. Reservations for this 90-minute experience can be made online 
or by calling 407-WWW-DINE. The cost for this is $99 per adult ages 10 and up or $69 ages three to nine per person. This price does include tax and gratuity and there is a 10% discount available for DVC members and annual pass holders. Finally, uh, the last bit of news I have for you guys is the Happily Ever After dessert party is unfortunately going to be increasing in price beginning May 28th. Uh, it takes place at the Tomorrowland Terrace and it includes seating on the terrace, which will be $84 for adults ages 10 and up and $50 uh, for ages three to nine. The Happily Ever After dessert party with the Plaza Garden viewing area will increase to $69 for adults and $41 for ages, uh, children ages three to nine. So that's going to do it for all the news that I have for you this week. There is a lot to go over, obviously. And uh, so if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask along. Also, make sure to follow along with the Mouse for Less on all of our social sites. So you've got Twitter, you've got Facebook, you've got Instagram, you've got YouTube. And otherwise, we're going to see you guys the next time on the Mouse Bites.